Hey folks, it's Shane Getz in the MLA for Laxon and Parkland. I'm here with Nate at uh, Line of Fire Defense. How are you doing today? I'm good. I'm really good actually, yeah. Well, this is good. Well, the reason why I'm here is not just to come in and, and smile and talk to you here, buddy. It's, uh, I'm picking up some kit for the weekend, so I'm going out training. And uh, I ran across you guys before. I was looking around trying to buy local before and ran across the line of fire defense online and tried to do that. And we were talking a little bit earlier about how our propensity out west is to try to support local. And there's lots of kit that comes in from the states and, and you see it on Amazon and there's some that's good and not so good. So the folks that are starting again at a shooting like I was a while ago, uh, would buy a bunch of junk. I don't know how to say it nicely. It, it looks pretty tactical and all that stuff. And then you buy it and it's just literally it's garbage. And I mean, I would never go buy cheap tools. So why would I do that? And when it comes to safety, my background was, you know, obviously the pipeline industry, you, you get kitted up, you do the right things and, and you, you get it for the long run. So I'm here getting this thigh rig and you guys got it for me within the week. And I know that's a tall order because you guys have good stuff and you're always busy. So I appreciate that. Hey man, how you doing? I'll give you the COVID handshake. Oh, yeah, sir. yeah. How, you how you doing? doing? Yeah, thanks for getting this pulled together for me. Sorry, I didn't know. No, no problem. We didn't know either. We're just talking. <laughs> and then I also got these uh, pistol mags that you pulled together too. So really cool stuff. So I appreciate that. But maybe rather than me rambling on, why don't you tell me a little bit about line of fire defense and what you guys are up to? So uh, first, you know, we're, glad we, we're glad we were able to do that for you, uh, you know, so uh, so quickly and stuff. Because I mean, definitely have a, a pretty busy uh, order queue, but uh, it. it Certainly, you know, one of the one of the first and most important things when we're doing this kind of gear, uh, basically, is you have to look cool, right? That's that's half that's half the battle. You got to look cool. If you're not going to look, it's going to look good. What's the point? Yeah. Um, but no, in, in, in all seriousness, uh, you know, the, the gear that we put together and the the basis of the company has always been around the uh, the idea of quality of quality products. Uh, they can look great, but they're going to functionally work. They're going to last a long time. Yeah. Uh, and and we're proud of that that level of quality. And, and we we're seeking to change the industry in raising that bar and that expectation of quality and that's uh, that's important to us the company originally started in in uh, in the hard armor in the, in the body armor area and kind yep. of grew to what we see today now and you know heavier into the in the textile stuff um, and looking at uh, at growing the business in uh, in, in a kind of a, a variety of directions for sure uh, but the tech that the the, um, the textile area of the of the uh, the business and the business mix has been so uh has been so successful uh that we, we do stuff with canines we do stuff for humans uh and then as you know as we've talked about kind of uh offline we've talked about the the business mix being law enforcement military the civilians the sports shooters the outdoorsmen yep. and so that's um it's a nice feather in our cap to have uh that kind of a mix because no matter what the times are like uh, it really does bolster our ability to, to stay, uh, you know, economically healthy in, in any type of times tumultuous or otherwise, right? So yep. it's, it's, it's a pretty good, uh, it's a pretty good setup that we have so far. Well, and it was pretty neat. I mean, I haven't been ha back here, oh shoot, since this whole political gig. I mean, honestly, it's, it's been about a year now since I won my popularity contest. And um, so coming back and seeing some of the subtle changes you guys made, the, the storefront up, up front has expanded a bit. At that time, I believe, uh, you know, Nate, you guys were talking about having issues with seamstresses and trying to keep up with demands. And then the other thing was the supply chain of, of getting the materials in from the States. But it seems like you've really taken care of your, your, your delivery models. It seems like you've got that online. And the other thing that I was really impressed with was um, that it was your own capital that you put to invest and you kept taking the capital that you're getting from your company and reinvesting it and buying tooling and kits and, and uh, getting some pretty neat stuff like the laser engraving and, and the other tool sets and behind. Absolutely. And that's that's one of the things that a lot of people, you know, they, they think that, you know, we got big banks and big big uh, types of, of capital pools of just there's a money printing machine somewhere that, that allows us to, to do this kind of thing. And this has been this has been a, a, a success story from the ground up, uh, the, the, the resurrection and the rebirth of, of, the, of the brand and stuff like that where our CEO basically had some decisions to make and, and, and he made some tough ones and had to go through some tough times and whatever. Yeah. But uh, as, you know, as you alluded to, um, the reinvesting in the business, um, the attention to quality and, and the continual adaptation to what the, the, the market needed. Uh, wanted and also how to interact with the client base a little bit better you know now using social media more and um, attracting good quality people so there's yeah. less turnover so there's consistency there the a year and just over a year and change ago uh, LOF defense systems uh, adapted 
or adopted uh, the lean manufacturing processes, which has okay. cut down our uh, our lead times uh, and kept our quality up uh, at the same time. And so that's been that's been a major impact. Uh, and as we get through things like this COVID nineteen uh, pandemic that's affected industry of all kinds, uh, it's been really neat in this space to see how. Uh, in comparison to some of our competitors, how we've been able to not only stay open and stay productive, um, but keep those lead times down so we can we can service effectively our, our client base. Well, and I think one of the things with, you know, coming out of COVID and doing the relaunch, um, like with the whole event of, of looking how fragile our supply line is, you know, again, we're, we're very ingenuitive. We, we produce a lot of raw products and we export that to the world and we end up buying back the finished products, you know, from our exports, which is wild. But the fact that if we didn't keep those trucks rolling, uh, we literally have one week. If we cut everything off and stop one week and then we're, we're out of our stuff. So I think what you're going to see is because of that, you're going to see a lot of companies like yourselves and you're going to see some of that support industry where we're buying offshore, specifically offshore, where we're going to try to onshore as much as we can. So again, that North American footprint. And I think you're, what you're going to see is a lot of good companies like yourself stepping forward and producing you know, items here. And I think honestly, you know, we talked about kind of the Western idea where you have more Western the western side of Canada seems to support the west a little bit more and, and support locally home owned, owned and operated businesses right. and we'll we'll pay that little extra uptick to make sure that we have it on our hands as long as it's good stuff so i think that's going to carry us through here too it certainly does and you know what so there there is that idea of you know buying local supporting local and then from edmonton that then expands into alberta that expands into western canada and what we found now uh, that's been really happening in the last little while, especially with all the, the attention uh, being drawn to how dependent we are to offshore resources. Mm -hmm. We source all our materials and everything from North America right exclusively, uh, which is great to begin with. So you're getting good quality products. Uh, of course, our, our buckles and a lot of our systems, they well, come from Austria, but you know those are but that's basically but I mean, the extent of offshore. This is stuff the guys would be hooking on if they're iron workers and rigging. I, absolutely. It. I mean, this it's is solid stuff. It's high end There's, stuff. Absolutely. Yeah, like this is beautiful. Yeah. And when you guys first got me in here, I came in just for a plate carrier and then I started looking at, you know, <laughs> the actual body armor itself right. and for not much of a price difference you're jumping into something that can stop whatever you put into it absolutely um, right up to rifle rounds so i mean absolutely and that's the stuff. and that's the neat thing about it so we bringing in and having that level of product uh and that quality of product is is the way that we can deliver those things uh with that confidence that our, that our clients have and they keep coming back yeah um we've even we've even experienced that whole buy local at a national level where we've we've started to do work with people in uh in ontario and quebec where nice. they, they said we're done dealing with uh suppliers from overseas from from the from asia from wherever and they said we we are prepared to uh you know negotiate and work on some price points that work for our retail front uh, but be able to still keep everybody winning and everybody profitable, yep. uh, which is really neat. So they basically had an almost cold turkey, dropped their original supply from overseas and said, we're ready now to go with you. Nice. And so uh, with that with that type of confidence and that type of buy local, we're now starting to see it actually proliferate and happen from coast to coast. People want to buy Canadian. Uh, they like that there's a, a truly Canadian owned, operated, manufactured product in the space and with the quality that they want when they haven't had that for well maybe if ever yeah. um it's nice that now they 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 have that as an option well and the other thing too is ergonomics i mean so again if if you're building for a certain demographic and that's kind of how you you fit it on but guys like us we might eat a lot more alberta beef than some other sure. folks would you know Absolutely. obviously right sure uh, and covid didn't hurt matters but um <laughs> you know so you've got a certain body type as well and and the way that we operate in our environments so the guys that do it professionally when they've got stuff coming back at them downrange or there are law enforcement communities and it's minus 40 outside and i mean so you start adding all those factors just trying to buy something offline and then have it but what i liked was it was literally tailored to me like i came in and and you know wear what you would to the range type thing and add a couple layers of clothing and then then you're fitted up so when you literally come and buy the line of fire stuff it's yours it's not a one size fits all it's it's custom fit and the mobility that it offers is, is fantastic you know absolutely. when you're doing that absolutely and and so and you bring up some great points and so we we do have that ad, that ad, the adaptability to be able to not only tailor it to the wearer, to the user, um, but even in so doing, um, when we deal with larger security companies and so on, where they may have turnover, we still have the adaptability, the mobility to um, be able to adapt piece of the kit 
to maybe fit a new body as yep. opposed to always having to uh, to do something like that. So it also it lowers procurement costs, especially in, in for larger companies, larger um, larger uh, clients who who may have that need. That's always a concern. So yep. we can cer- we can certainly make it very custom, uh, but we can also keep it generically custom I guess is, is if I'm gonna yep. make up a term on the yeah. spot that's the one I would use and so we're able to do that where uh, yeah we, we can customize it but then we also have that flexibility uh, to adapt to whatever the client might need well I like the adaptability especially when it came to the waist size so like that was <laughs> those things so the, the cummerbund attachment and how it actually stayed in and once right. you have it kind of set and then just drop that one loop and literally you can put it on and get it off quick which was I think something that also for folks that do this for real where they need the body armor not just to be safe at the range, but you know, part of their day-to-day operations. That transitioning from potentially an office environment to the patrol car back to slapping that on if they're in a situation where they they warrant it. Now, the other one too, I just want to jump in there is that once you kind of get brand recognition, and you know, once you kind of see your your subtleties in your product line, it was really interesting to go up and look at some of our service members, and especially in the sheriff's department, go, hey. That's line of fire. And then also out in uh, Lac St. Anne County and some of our police officers right. or the patrol officers and sitting there and going, yeah, that's, I recognize that. Yeah. And there is also that uh, that pride from that community saying, yeah, you know, they're from Edmonton. It's line of fire. They're, they're a good group. Yeah, that, that sense of community, it's interesting. It's, it's, we have a pretty big, we have a pretty big um, uh, fan base, if you want to call it that. Our yeah. CEO has done a great job in our social media uh, realm to create a, a, a big following, and that following expands into, as you as you've alluded to, into our, our day-to-day customers. You, you can yeah. pick the gear out in a second, not just because it looks great and it, and I think it's it's great quality, but the the patches, the custom patches we do. Some oh, yeah, yeah. everyone recognizes the O. Right? Yep. everyone knows yep. our O, and uh, and stuff. And so it, it's um, it is great that they're 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 proud and they're confident in wearing the gear, the armor and stuff that, that we're producing, we're making for them because they know at the end of the day they're getting a good quality, comfortable, easy to wear product, easy to use product that's actually going to keep them safe and get them get them home safe at the end of the day, which yep. is this is ultimately why we do what we do, yep. uh, is to get, whether it's a, a canine, it's handler, any of our officers and frontline, our military personnel, get them home safe um, because that's, at the end of the day, they're, they're humans too, right? Uh, and there's a human on the other side of that armor, and you want to make sure that they get home safe uh, to their family and their loved ones, so they can they can keep us safe and keep doing what uh, keep doing what they do every day. So well, that's important to us. Well, Nate, I don't want to take up all your time. I am going to come back if you guys are cool with that. And what Absolutely. I'd like to be able to do is go through uh, more of the story and, and talk to some of your other people, and then literally let the folks at home see what you guys are doing in the Absolutely. back. Absolutely. Um, but again, really appreciate this for impromptu for me, just popping in to grab my stuff. And uh, thanks for what you're doing, and and. Keep that Alberta strong and free attitude and keep doing what you're doing because we we, need you. We appreciate it. We appreciate you too and all the good work that you're doing. So you guys are welcome back anytime. Uh, So uh, hopefully that's uh, that's sooner than later and uh, we'll be able to show you you the whole place. Awesome. Thank you. Appreciate it. COVID bump. All right. Yeah. (laughs)